Have you ever noticed those strange black and white squares that seem to be everywhere now? On restaurant tables, product packaging, posters on the street, on TV commercials, at airports, even on billboards. We see them constantly. We scan them without thinking. But stop for a second and ask yourself something. What are these things, really? Why do they look like a digital puzzle? And how can pointing your phone at a small square instantly open a website, show a video, download an app, or even make a payment? Today, we are going to open the doors to a technology you use every day, but probably never think about. QR codes. These tiny squares are a lot more powerful and a lot more clever than they appear. Once you understand how they work, you'll never look at them the same way again. Welcome to Technify, where we break down everyday technology in the simplest and most enjoyable way. Make sure to stay all the way to the end, because the most surprising thing about QR codes isn't how they work. It's how much they can survive, even when they're damaged. Most people don't know this, but it's one of their biggest secrets. Let's start with something simple, the name. QR stands for Quick Response. It was chosen very intentionally. The whole purpose of a QR code is to give information instantly. When you scan it, you shouldn't wait. It should just work. Now, most people think QR codes are modern, maybe invented in the last 10 or 15 years. But the real story starts way back in 1994. A Japanese company named Denso Wave, which is part of Toyota, needed a fast way to track car parts in factories. Regular barcodes weren't enough anymore. They only store a small amount of information, and they can only be read in one direction. Imagine trying to track thousands of parts every day, and the barcode can only hold a few numbers. They needed something better, something faster, something that could store a lot more information. So engineers designed a new type of code, a black and white grid that could be read in two directions instead of one, from side to side and from top to bottom. This simple idea changed everything. Suddenly, a tiny square could store hundreds of times more information than a normal barcode. They called it the quick response code, the QR code. Here's the crazy part. When QR codes were first invented, nobody expected them to take over the world. They were meant only for factories, machines, and warehouses. But they were so fast, so reliable, and so easy to scan that they eventually escaped the factories and became part of everyday life. Now let's talk about that square pattern that looks like static on an old TV screen. At first glance, it looks random, like a messy mosaic. But it's not random at all. Every single dot in that square has a job. And when you understand those jobs, the whole thing starts to make sense. Look at the three big squares in the corners of a QR code. They're impossible to miss. Those are called finder patterns. Their job is simple, but important. They tell your phone where the QR code is and how it's rotated. You can turn the code sideways, upside down, or even slightly tilted, and the phone will still read it perfectly because of those three big squares. Now look closely, and you'll notice thin lines of alternating black and white dots. These are timing patterns. They help the scanner measure the size of the grid. If the QR code is printed small, large, stretched, or on a curved surface. The timing patterns help the phone calculate the exact spacing. Then there are the alignment patterns, small square shapes placed around the code. Their job is to correct distortion. Imagine a QR code printed on a water bottle or a crumpled paper bag. The surface isn't flat, so the code bends. The alignment patterns help the scanner straighten it out digitally so it still works. And finally, the most important part, the data modules. These are the little black and white dots that actually hold the information. To your eyes, they look random. To a phone, they are a language. 
So what happens inside your phone when you scan one of these codes? The moment your camera sees the finder patterns, it recognizes a QR code. Your phone figures out the position, size, and angle. Then it reads the timing and alignment dots. After that, it starts decoding the tiny data modules. Here's the interesting part. Every black square represents a one. Every white square represents a zero. The QR code is basically a huge digital message written in binary. All those ones and zeros turn into letters, numbers, website links, app downloads, contact information, and almost anything else. You don't see any of this happening because your phone decodes it in less than a second. But that's what makes a QR code feel like magic. It's compact, it's fast, and it works almost every time. So how much information can a QR code actually store? A lot more than most people think. A standard QR code can hold over 4,000 alphanumeric characters. It can store nearly 7,000 numerical digits. It can even store pieces of binary data, like small files or images. All of that inside a tiny square. But now comes the part that surprises almost everyone. QR codes are almost impossible to destroy. And here's why. QR codes use something called error correction. Think of it like built-in backup information. Even if a QR code is damaged, scratched, dirty, faded by sunlight, or even partially torn, your phone can still read it because the missing pieces can be reconstructed. Depending on the level of error correction used, up to 30% of a QR code can be missing, and it will still work. This is why QR codes can appear on outdoor banners, tickets, receipts, dusty boxes, and even walls with faded paint. QR codes existed for years, but they truly exploded when smartphones came into our lives. At first, you needed a special app to scan them. Oh dear, it doesn't seem to be scanning. Is the machine working? But around 2017, phone companies added scanning directly into the camera. Suddenly, everyone could use QR codes instantly, without installing anything. And then came 2020. The world went contactless. Restaurants replaced menus with QR codes. Stores replaced payment machines with QR codes. Events, check-ins, health forms, almost everything used QR codes. Something invented for car parts became a global digital tool. And the best part is, QR codes can do many different things. They can open websites and apps. They can show instructions. They can store contact details like a virtual business card. They can connect you to Wi-Fi. They can help you make payments. They can even track packages and shipments. And they're still evolving. Today, we have something called dynamic QR codes. These are super interesting. Unlike normal QR codes, the information behind them can change without changing the code itself. Restaurants can update menus every day. Event organizers can update tickets. Businesses can change offers instantly. One printed QR code can keep changing its purpose. So the next time you scan a QR code, remember, you're not just scanning a bunch of black and white squares. You're scanning a tiny digital database full of hidden information stored in a pattern that looks simple, but is actually very smart. From a car factory in Japan, to a worldwide symbol of speed and convenience, QR codes have changed the way we interact with technology. Thank you for watching. Tell us in the comments which everyday invention you want Technify Eye to explain next. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Because the world is full of everyday technology hiding in plain sight, just waiting to be understood.